Welcome back to every trust YouTube channel. Today, starts are going to be learning a simple way of making this beautiful pleated skirt that we see here. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so there are several ways you can make your pleats, but this method makes it easier to make it's affordable and it allows you to make regular pleats okay and it can be as long as you want so what i'm going to be using for this is my regular pattern paper you can use a cardboard or a thicker paper but i'm working with my regular pattern paper and it works as well it's not so thick i'm going to be you can either stabilize this with your um st st is advisable because it's made of clothes of course it's stronger than the regular paper or gum stay that can easily melt away so i would advise if you have hair stay you can just work with it in the absence of hair stay or gum stay you can also use your regular fabric which is what i'm going to be using in this tutorial because i don't have access to any interface right now so i'm going to use this satin fabric to stabilize it so in order to glue them together i'm going to be working with this aiming gum so we'll set them aside now and create the pattern that we're working with so depending on how long you want it to be this is not going to be so long i'm just going to make a sizable one that will use subsequently in this tutorial but you can make your paper as long as you want to make the patterns that you want the length can also be the exact length of your skirt or it can also be um, short okay so depending on what you want basically by the time we we'll do it to understand this better so for my pattern i want each of my pleats to be around one inch and the spaces in between them to be one inch as well it can be half an inch it can be quarter of an inch it can be two inches it can be an inverted pleat whatever it is you want but for easy tutorial so that we'll just do something easy and then we can go so you can see now that i am marking one one inch in between I'll mark all of this now and then make them into a straight line okay so I have made my marks now you can see so now I have made my one inches one inch marks in between so essentially what we are doing we are creating our pleats the distance between each pleat is going to be one inch and I'm going to be using two inches to form the pleats meaning I'm folding one inch over each other so let's start okay so now i'm going to assume this to be my first line so now i'm going to be folding this over this to form my place so remember now that because of this line now this is two inches all together so you see now i'm just holding this over like this to form my first place so for the second place i'm going to leave this one inch that's the space between each of my fleet and then i'm going to be folding the next one this next two inches over each other just like this to form the next pleat so as you're folding you iron it down okay um i can easily press this because it's just a pattern paper like i said it is not thick so you can see that it's easy for me if you're working with something really thick that is not going to easily fold you may need to first use your your scissors or something really don't cut through it but just trace it out so that it will easily bend over and do what you want it to do so now here i'm going to leave the next spacing that is going to be between my plate and i'm going to fold the next two inches over each other so that is how i'm going to fold everything to create my plate and then i'll go ahead and use my iron to iron it down before we stabilize it so you can see what i am doing okay it's quite easy you leave the next one inch and then you fold over the next two inches so you can see now that the, the paper is of course becoming smaller so this should give you an idea of the amount of fabric that you need to calculate for whatever size that you are making this for so for this tutorial i'm making it is i'm making a small skirt okay so it's going to be for a child the idea is just for us to see how we can create this bit. so if you're making for an adult this will give you an idea of how you can calculate your fabric to get exactly what you want so you can see now that i have folded to the hand and this is what uh, my plate looks like now it's now smaller so i'm going to take my hot iron now and 
then I'm going to iron this out. So after ironing it out now, you can see now that it is really flat. Make sure you don't destroy your plate. So on one side of the plate, whatever side that you choose, you if you are working with SD, you just place your SD on it directly now and then iron it for them to hold. The idea is just to hold just one side of the plate together. You don't want it to be opening like this. You want it to be stable and permanent. So the idea now is just to use your, remember your cloth gum has um it has a gum on it that's going to glue everything together so that's what we are doing so in the absence of that now i'm going to be laying this um gum this um hemming gum sorry i'm going to be laying it on it then after laying everything completely i just cut a piece so you can cut a piece before you do this i cut a piece that it is this size that i'm working with from this fabric that i have because remember I said I don't have a cloth gum so I'm going to be using hemming gum and fabric to stabilize mine so I'm just cutting the size that I need for this so after cutting my size the next thing I is to lay the gum on this then after laying it after laying it correctly you carefully place this fabric on it and then you hang on so what this is going to do the this Emmy gum is going to melt is a gum and then it's going to glue this fabric to this paper for you so you can see now i have laid the emmy gum on it so you just carefully place this fabric on it as well you have to be careful about it so that it doesn't shift and then you place your iron so the iron is just going to melt them together and then your pleats is going to stay glued to the fabric is going to make it last long as well remember the fa the paper i'm working with is not so strong it's soft so with the fabric that is underneath it i'm sure that i can still reuse it if you store it properly okay so you can see so now it is gluing already I'm sure the end is not too hot so that i don't burn your fabric so you can see what we have so this part is glued is glued to the to the to the paper and then you can see that this other part is still opening up for you so this opening that you have is where you are going to be tucking your fabric in to form your pleats it is as simple as that so now i bring my fabric so this is my fabric like i said i'm using a small size so this is just about 10 inches in length and then i decided to mix it so if you're going to be doing anything to your pleats okay if you want to mix colors you need to do this before you start forming your pleats so like you, as you can see now i decided to fuse um, a little bit of black at the center area in a diagonal form like this so what i just did was just to cut my fabric around here and then i replaced it with this black because i just wanted to have this touch of black at the center area so you can do whatever it is you want on the hem you can just place another fabric straight like that if you want that fabric to be showing on it so whatever it is that you want to do to your fabric please do to it before you start to pleat it i can also make it plain i just want us to see that you can actually form designs with it that was why i did this so now what i'm going to do now is to start to pleat this so i'm going to be starting from the first one so i'm just going to place my my fabric on the first first a layer first area of pleats here and then i'm going to hold that first one with pins so that it doesn't shift and it makes my work easier so i'm pinning it down so once it's pinned down like this i'll start to form the pleat so of course you can see that between each each design we have underneath okay inner side like this which which are pleats so this part is what we are going to be talking our fabrics in to form this pleat so you can see this part here i'll just tuck my fabric inside this first one like this i'll lay it down and then i'll move to the second one and then raise the pleat there up and tuck my fabric in as well so as you're tucking your fabric and make sure that your hem matches and before you start to pleat again to make this easier for you make sure you hem your fabric okay if you have hemmed it already you don't have to hem it again by the time you have formed your pleat so now you just hold this down pleat it 
So you can do like three pleats and then you iron it down. Don't do everything all at once so that it won't get overwhelming. So now once you have like three pleats, you place your iron and iron. Okay, so I thought my camera was recording. So you dip in the pleats. After forming the pleats just like this, then you start to iron it. So you can work with a steam iron. And if you don't have a steam iron, you can just sprinkle a little bit of water so that it can hold your pleats for you. Okay, the fabric you are working with also it determines how easy it's going to be to form your pleats for you. If the fabric is not so thick, you easily form your pleats. You may not even need to sprinkle water if it is thick fabric. It's not going to be so easy, okay? So you make sure you top everything in properly. You make sure your M aligns and then you place your iron on it and then you iron it down just like I am doing. So make sure you place it gently so that you don't destroy the pleats. So when you are sure that you have ironed this properly, I'm just going to detach the pin that I started with. Remember, this pattern that I have did not go all the way. So I'm just going to keep reusing it to form all the pleats. I still have all of these to form pleats on. So you just carefully detach your fabric. Now that you have formed your pleats, even if it scatters, you'll still be able to replace it. So now I have detached this and these are the pleats that I have. You can hold the upper part with pins if you want but like i said the feet pleats are already formed so i'm not going to have any issue so these are the pleats that i have so now to continue it where i have my last pleats i'm just going to tuck it in between this and then i'm going to continue so you can see now here underneath this is where i have the last split here so this last split that i have here i'm going to tuck it inside this first this first split that i have here so you can see what i'm doing so you are going to place it so that you have the exact same thing on the next ones you are doing so after tucking it in like this i'm going to flip the other ones over and you can see now that we are back to how we started so again you start lifting it and forming the rest of the pleats so you lift it up again and form your pleats and iron so this is how i'm going to form all of the pleats and after that i'm going to sew in my band and my sketch is ready so i'll go ahead now and form my pleats and bring it back to show us what we have so i have gone ahead to pleat all of them now i can see how beautiful it looks so you can see the design that i placed there so you can have one here have one here you can just do anything you want with it basically so i just went ahead to hold my pleats on the upper part with a stitch you can pin it first before you pleat before you hold it with your stitch and you can see how it's opening up so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and create a band and then I'm going to sew my band to it and then I'll fix my zipper. So I've already created my band. I'm using this black fabric for my band. I've ironed the seam allowance inside and then I'm just going to tuck this into it and then I'm going to sew the band to it. And then on the back, I'm going to sew a black zipper as well. So I'll do this now and bring it back to show us what it looks like. Okay, so this is what our skirt looks like. You can see how beautiful the skirt is looking. You can see that our pleat is beautifully formed. And you can also see the design that we created with the black. So you can do whatever it is that you want on your skirt as well. You can just make it go, go like that at intervals. And you can also make your skirt play. So this is what it looks like. Once you drop the skirt, the pleat goes back to how you have formed it. And your pleat can be as wide as this. Or you can make it smaller. I used one inch for this. You can make yours 0.5 or quarter of an inch or whatever it is that you want. I hope you're making this beautiful tutorial with me very ready let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye